Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to this video. I am so happy that you are here. For those that don't know me, my name is Julia. My mom and I own an Etsy shop together called Petite Flowers Studio. And we have had our Etsy shop for seven years now. And on this YouTube channel and on my Instagram and my TikTok, I give you guys all of my Etsy tips, tricks, advice, suggestions to help you grow your Etsy shop and become a successful Etsy seller. I am so excited for this video because I am showing you guys ex real life examples of what we do on our Etsy shop to help us with our SEO. In this video, I am not going to tell you guys exactly what SEO is and the basics of it. I actually just did an SEO week on my Instagram where for five days I did a live every single day teaching you guys about SEO. We talked about how it works, how, what it is, how to find keywords, exactly what you have to do on your listings, exactly what you have to do on your main page. I went into a lot of details and I actually have all of those lives saved on my Instagram feed. So if you go on my Instagram, the link is down below. And if you click on my like little IGTV or live section of my profile, you will see all the five lives over there. So I really, really suggest that you watch those videos. I gave you everything that I know about SEO and I gave you a lot, a lot of good content. My followers that watched it loved it. I received a lot of good feedback from it. So make sure you watch those videos because also this video will make a lot of sense after you watched those lives. So let's get started. I have my computer over here and basically we're gonna go through my Etsy's main page. We're gonna go through some of my listings and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we do that has helped us with our SEO. So. Let's go to the Etsy shop. So this is our Etsy over here, Petite Flowers Studio. We have had 17,509 sales. And this is a little overlook of our Etsy. We have our banner over here, our logo, our products. We have 598 products listed. So I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of it. And then we have our reviews. And then we have our about, shop members, shop policies, frequently asked questions, and all of that good stuff. So let's start from the very top. The very first thing that I suggest that you guys do that will help with your SEO is have a little headline of what your product, of what you sell, and what of what your niche is. So on ours we we'll say banner, banners and signs for bridal shower, wedding, and baby shower. On the section over here, we have told our shoppers and our, and our customers what we sell and what our niche is. So you have 55 characters. You can fit 55 characters over here. So definitely use up this space. It will definitely help with your SEO. The other thing that you should also do on your Etsy shop is have a shop section over here. And for this section, we go into more details instead of being too broad. We definitely go into, we are definitely like more specific about it. So we have baby shower banner, baby welcome sign, bridal shower banner. So instead of being just banner, sign, uh, nursery we definitely go into details and I definitely suggest you guys doing that on your Etsy shop because the more keywords you have into your section the better it is over here we have our about where we tell our shoppers a little bit about of our story and during my Instagram lives again make sure you watch them because I'm not giving you guys a lot of details in this video because a lot of details I gave on my Instagram lives. But over here, your about section is extremely important. Your about section and your policy, which we're going to go into it, helps a lot with your SEO. Etsy prioritizes shops that have their about section and their policy all filled out. So if you don't have those, have it because it will help you and Etsy does pay attention on that because shop policy and about section goes into your shop 
quality score. Your shop quality score is about how, fa how fast you answer your messages, it's about your reviews, and it's about if you have your policy and about section filled out, so make sure you have those. On our about section, we include some of our keywords, for example, par party, handmade, flowers, home entertainment, tabletop, beautiful, unique, events. So definitely on your about, add keywords that describe your shop and that describe your products. We have links to our social media and little things that you do on your Etsy shop and especially your main page, things like linking your shop, linking your social media, having your shop members, having a banner, obviously having a logo, having your frequently asked questions, those things show Etsy that you care about your SEO or shows Etsy that you care about your Etsy shop, that you utilize every single space that you have and that's Etsy really likes that and it will help you with pushing your products. So I mentioned this on my lives, but every single detail or every single space that you get on your Etsy shop, utilize it. Don't leave anything blank. We have our little shop members and in our Etsy shop, it's just me and my mom. I know a lot of you guys, it's just gonna be yourself and that's totally fine. Just add what you do on your Etsy shop. So you can say, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I am the owner of the Etsy shop and I'm so happy that you're here and I can share my creations with you. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, nothing fancy. Just, just add a little thing into your shop members and add a picture of you. Shop policies, again, extremely important. You must have a shop policy into your Etsy shop. It not only helps with your SEO, but it also helps with you making sales. I would personally never shop from an Etsy shop that doesn't give me details about their returns, their exchange, their cancellation. Every time I buy something online, I already think about, okay, what if I don't like it? Or what if it doesn't fit me? How can I return these products? So add details about your returns, cancellations, and exchange. Frequently asked questions, again, just those little things, those little spaces that will show Etsy that you're serious about your Etsy shop and you're doing everything that you can to give all the information to your shoppers. I know sometimes a big question is, I don't even know what to add on my frequently asked questions. Like I don't receive that many questions anyways because I just started. Two things, you can just think about what could potentially customers ask you for, and number two, check out what your competition is doing. A lot of big shops have their frequently asked questions filled out, so check out what they're saying. A lot of our, a lot of our frequently asked questions are about our printable uh, products because we do get a lot of questions on those, so we tell our shoppers how to download, how to print, um, do they do we send them a proof anything related to the printable signs that we sell because that's where we get the most questions from so if you sell anything printable feel free to get inspiration from our frequent frequently asked questions and our shop banner again your shop banner your logo your title your headline and your announcements are like the very first thing that a shopper is going to look at when they click on your Etsy shop. When they first see your Etsy shop, those are the first things that they're gonna see. So you have to grab their attention with these little sections, with these little spaces. So do something for your banner. Do not leave it blank and do not make the banner the same thing as your logo. I see some people doing that, like whatever they have on their logo, they also do on their banner. That's a little boring. Do something different. You can do exactly like we did, just products. You can do maybe a product and a little discount code. You can do a product and then like your social media so people can find you. Just do anything that will look aesthetically pleasing, that will look cute and that will match your brand. We are always switching our banner. We do um, seasonal products. So right now we have like our spring collection. Next, in maybe in two months, we'll do our summer collection. If you have no idea how to do banners, I actually teach you guys how to make them and I teach you guys how to make different designs on our ebook. The link is down below on our ebook. I teach you 
everything about Etsy and I have a whole video teaching you guys how to use Canva to make your banners. A question that I get a lot and I got asked a lot during my lives is how do I even edit my main page? You can do it two ways. You can either just go to edit shop and over here you can edit your header, you can edit your location, here you uh, edit your banner, you can edit your about, add your links, edit your shop policies. Anything that you want to edit on your first page, you just click right here. This is a new feature. I don't know if everyone has it yet, but if you don't, all you have to do is click on your shop manager and then you're going to click on settings and info and appearance. So that's another way that you can do that if you don't have that edit shop link yet. Again, I know I went really fast and I didn't give um, too many details, but I talked all about this on my live that I did on Thursday, which is how to optimize your first page for Etsy SEO. So if this was a little bit too fast, if you think I didn't give you enough details, make sure you watch that live. It's on my Instagram, it's saved over there. But I just wanted to give you guys real life examples of what we do on our first page. Let's talk about listings. What do we do on our listings to help with our SEO? I'm gonna get a very popular listing that we sell quite frequently, which is our Bohemian Baby Shower banner. First things first, this doesn't really correlate to SEO, but it correlates to making the sales. Our pictures, in my opinion, are really freaking good. I think we do a really good job with our pictures. Our main picture is very clear, is very bright. We have little props, but it doesn't make our picture too busy. We also give a little close up of the left side, the right side, and then we have our color chart. And then we have this little picture where we, where we tell the customers that we have a coordinating theme but mainly the very first picture is the most important because when someone is looking at other items on the Etsy search bar, so let's say someone looks up um, baby, let me see if I can even find it. Okay, so if someone look up, looks up baby shower banner over here, this is the very first page and our picture is right here. This is a very bright picture, is very eye-catching. Our product is very zoomed in. The product is clear, is very eye-catching. If you compare it to our competitors, they all have good pictures as well, but I think our picture is definitely one of the best. It's one of the best from out of all the other products and pictures on the main page. Here's our Olivia baby shower banner that I was showing you guys. See how like next to the other ones, it's like very bright, it's very alive. The, the picture is very alive. So pictures doesn't really correlate with SEO. They're not gonna help with your SEO actually just yet. Etsy is actually working on picture recognition picture recognition for their SEO. It's not active yet, it's a very new thing. But as of now, pictures don't really help with your SEO, but they'll help you make the sale because no matter how many visits you get, if the customer doesn't like what, they're, what they see and the, if the customer doesn't wanna click on your picture, then you're not gonna make a sale. So focus on your product product pictures. For our title, we have keywords such as bohemian name banner, floral girl nursery, girl baby shower decor, baby shower banner, girl birthday banner, girl name banner, blush. And this little code over here is a little secret that you will only know about if you bought our ebook. So <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details about that, but your title has to be filled with keywords that customers are looking for on the Etsy search bar. So bohemian name banner is something that people are looking for, especially bohemian theme baby showers. They're very popular and buyers want to find 
decor for their baby shower that's bohemian themed so we know that word is a very popular keyword just like floral girl nursery even though our banner is mainly for baby showers people could also be looking for nursery decor and they could use one of our banners to decor their nursery and obviously words like girl baby shower decor those are things that are just they're nothing fancy, they're not nothing crazy, they're just simply keywords and phrases that people are searching for on the Etsy search bar. And again, I made a whole video about titles, tags, descriptions, categories, attributions. Please, if you haven't done so, watch those videos on my Instagram. Then let's jump into description because it's also very crucial for your Etsy shop and for your SEO. The first 160 words of your banner should have keywords. So, or the first 160 words of your description, I think I said banner, of your description should have keywords. So we have um, keywords such as name banner, baby shower, nursery, birthday party, decoration. The very first 160 words of your description are the ones that are gonna help you on your SEO. So add, keywords to that and then we go into details which again are not necessarily going to help with your seo but they're going to help with your sale because as an online store and as a small business people might not know who you are people might not know if they can trust you people don't know any details about you and your product and description is where you give them so we talked to we talk about so we say banner showing and listing. So we talk about the size, we talk about the style, we talk about the material. Then we go into how to order, especially because our banner is custom and personalized. So we teach people how they can personalize it. And then production time, shipping time, and we go into details of what kind of shipping we do and shop policies. So again, add keywords to the 160 first characters of a description and then give your shopper information about your product. You might be losing sales because people like your product, they click on it, but they are not sure about it. They're not sure about the material, they don't know how to order, or they don't know how long it's gonna take for you to make it. So they might pass your product and go into your competitor and your competitor might give them more details. So don't lack on information. And then on the bottom, we have our categories, which we use paper and party supplies, party supplies, party decor, banners and signs. You don't have to just choose just one category, pick the ones that will fit your product the best. One of the things that I wanna to touch on is people ask me if they can reuse the same titles for, simil for similar products. So if they can use the same keywords for similar products that the keyword would fit for. My answer is yes and no. Yes, you can repeat some keywords. There's nothing wrong with that. If there's a strong keyword that you know people are finding you from and it works for you, you can repeat them. Just don't re repeat the exact same title. So I'm gonna show you guys two examples of similar products. They're both bridal shower um, products and they are like floral. They're very springy and summery but we use different titles for them. So for example, this one, we used blush rose bridal shower welcome sign, pale pink bridal shower decor, welcome shower poster, boho spring floral digital file. And then for this one, we used other keywords, but we have repeated some of them. So for example, this one is pale pink bridal shower decor but we used bridal shower decor over here and then on this one we also used bridal shower decor same with this one we said jpeg digital file and then this one we said digital file and then this one bridal shower welcome sign and this one bridal shower welcome sign so as you can see we did repeat words we might have um add something before or after that makes a little different but there's nothing wrong with reusing keywords 
a keyword such as bridal shower welcome sign is a very popular keyword that gets our product found and there's nothing wrong with repeating that just make sure your titles don't all look the same because that's first that's boring you, d you don't want your Etsy shop to be like that and second of all you have to test out different keywords if you're always repeating the same ones then you're never testing out different ones and you never know when you're gonna find another magic keyword that might bring you thousands and thousands of views if you're not testing them out. And which, by the way, let me show you guys where you go to find keywords that are working for you and keywords that you should be reusing. So you're gonna go on Shop Manager. And in Shop Manager, you're gonna go on Stats. And when you go on Stats, you're gonna go into Etsy Search. And then after that, you're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna see keywords that are working for you. So let me change that because that's only in 19 days. Let's see this year. So in 2021, the word baby shower decorations got us almost 300 visits. And words like British, bridal shower decor got us 249 visits. So we know that these are very strong words that we should be reusing and it's okay if we reuse them on titles and tags and do the same thing for your Etsy shop. Go here and then see if there are keywords that you're getting a lot of clicks because of it. Don't be afraid of using them on your titles, tags, and descriptions. All right, you guys, so that's what I wanted to show you. Those were some of the examples that I wanted to show you that we use for our Etsy shop to help with, your, with our SEO. Again, this video is kind of like a follow-up video from my SEO week that I did on Instagram. So if you didn't watch my Instagram lives, this might, have, might not have made a lot of sense. But def if you are confused about SEO and if you want to learn more and if you, wanna if you want to learn exactly what to do on your SEO, watch this and also watch all of my lives that I did on my Instagram, which are, again, are saved on my feed. All right? So thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss my videos, all of my Etsy videos, and make sure you give it a like and I will see you next week. Bye.